Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rose Wrights and I write and narrate Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. Thank you so much to Chocoluck Chips for allowing me to use their amazing artwork in my thumbnail. If you'd like to check them out, their info will be linked below. Also, if you haven't seen the other 11 parts of Adrianette April, they will be linked below as well, so be sure to check them out. There is no one cohesive storyline. Every chapter is kind of its own little thing, but if you'd like to check them out anyway, they will be linked below. Now then, please enjoy Adrianette April, Day 12, Childhood. Marinette swung herself over the monkey bars, flipping upside down. Look, I'm a bat! The child squealed with glee as she continued to swing back and forth. Her best friend, Ollie, appeared at her as she sat on the swings, reading a book. You're going to get hurt, Marinette. Maybe you should use the monkey bars the right way. Plus, you're wearing a skirt. Alia being older than Marinette by exactly three months meant she was wiser. Also, it didn't help that Alia had broken her left arm doing the exact same stunt. Marinette flipped herself right side up with a flourish, like a gymnast sticking the landing after a complicated routine of jumps. Ta-da! She exclaimed proudly. She walked to Alia, sitting beside her on the swing set, pumping her legs, already gaining some speed. You're such a party pooper! Marinette giggled. She continued laughing as she pumped her legs harder and harder, only to come to an abrupt stop nearly toppling out of the slippery plastic seat. Ow! Marinette screamed as the metal she held rubbed her hand. What was that for? Marinette's eyes drifted up from the sand pit, landing on an angry blonde girl. The girl's hair stuck out, probably due to the sheer wind. Marinette stared and stared, thinking she looked like a blonde porcupine. An evil blonde porcupine. Do you want a picture? It'll last longer. Chloe said, pushing a hip out, crossing her arms. Marinette furrowed her brow, standing up, being only a bit shorter. No thanks. Can I help you? Marinette said. Chloe smirked, using her freshly manicured hands to push Marinette back down on the swing. Hey! Marinette squirmed under Chloe's grip, nails digging into her shoulders. Stay still! Chloe struggled. <laughs> Sabrina! A small girl came running like a dog when their owner said the word walk or treat. Sabrina's red bob swished to the side as she eagerly ran to Chloe's side. Yes, Chloe? Marinette was surprised Chloe had trained Sabrina so well. Let me go! Marinette yelled. Teachers were on the playground, but none came running. Students were always getting into trouble, so perhaps teachers were just desensitized to the children's screams. Sabrina, hold this, Chloe said, gesturing to Marinette. Okay, Chloe! Sabrina more than willingly grabbed Marinette's frail shoulders being surprisingly strong for her small stature. Marinette glanced to her side, noticing Ollie was gone. Great. Maybe she went to get a teacher. Hopefully. Chloe began yanking at Marinette's hair, undoing her pigtails, pulling some strands out. Ow! Stop it! Marinette yanked her arms even harder to no avail. Would you stay still? Chloe said, aggravated holding Marinette's hair in her hands. Marinette attempted to pull her head away, but stopped after Chloe's intense grip caused her pain. Leave my hair alone! Marinette cried. Tears began to stream down her face, leaving stains on her dark blue jacket. Chloe pulled her hair even harder, Marinette's head being tilted back, still unable to move under Sabrina's vice-like grasp. It's not my fault your hair looks stupid. Mommy says I'm going to be a cosmetologist, and I need practice. Marinette's blonde enemy gathered her hair, almost as if about to put it in a ponytail. I think you'll look even better with a little haircut. She whipped out scissors from her cardigan pocket. She opened and closed them a few times in Marinette's ears to prove how serious she was. Haircut? Also, why would this deranged blonde bring scissors outside? 
Marinette's blood-curdling scream ripped through the air. At that moment, Marinette felt lighter as her hair and shoulders were released. Marinette crumpled to the ground, holding herself, tears falling rapidly. Oh my god, you're such a crybaby! Chloe rolled her eyes, turning her attention to what stopped Marinette's haircut. Adrikins, what are you doing here? She said, throwing her arms around Marinette's savior. He took Chloe's arms off of him, gently pushing her away from him. Chloe, what are you doing? Why are you being so mean? The boy circled around Chloe, helping the crying girl to her feet. He dusted sand off of her knees and outfit. What? Chloe screeched. She asked for it. She said, pointing to Marinette, tears forming in her own eyes. By minding her own business, swinging? Alia said even louder. Chloe may not have cared what most people thought, but she cared what her Adrikins thought. Tears fell harder from Chloe's beady eyes as Alia verbally berated her. The blonde boy pulled the weeping girl aside, sitting her down on a bench at the edge of the playground. Thank you for saving me, Marinette said between sobs. Don't cry, please. It's okay now. He wiped a tear from her eyes with his shirt sleeve. What's your name? M Marinette. She stuttered. The boy looked at her kindly, his emerald eyes twinkling in the sunlight, his blonde hair looking like pure gold. Nice to meet you. I'm Adrian. He said, reaching out to shake her hand. She timidly extended her hand to him. Oh, here are your ribbons. He offered her the two red ribbons Chloe had pried from her hair. Marinette quickly fixed her hair, having done it probably a million times. Adrian's eyes lingered for just a moment on his new friend. She caught him staring and laughed. He averted his eyes, embarrassed, his face turning a subtle shade of pink. I, uh, I like your hair. Really? Marinette stroked one of her pigtails, smoothing it. Thank you. He smiled and nodded. Then another young boy called for him. Yo, Adrian! The boy had dark hair, donned with a red baseball cap flipped backwards. Well, I'll see you later, Marinette. She waved after him, her little fourth grade heart beating faster than it did when running during gym class. Was this what it felt like to be in love? She thought it might be. Even as her class entered into their usual brick classroom, the world felt different. Out of all the things she was told to worry about in elementary school like bullies and losing teeth, falling in love wasn't one of them. Everywhere she went, she kept an eye out for her blonde savior, hoping their paths may cross again. Thank you so much for listening. I really hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, leave me a comment for Mr. Algorithm. That would be awesome. If you're not sure what to comment, say, Chloe is a bully. And as always, stay miraculous!